Hello and welcome to the 15th annual LD Micro main event. We are here at the Lux Hotel in Los Angeles, California, and I am joined by Oren, VP of Operations and Business Development for Foresight Autonomous, ticker symbol FRSX on the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. You got it right. Oren, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us, for flying all this way from Israel to share your story with us. We're really excited to hear about the company and your focus. If you'd like to please share with the audience. Okay, first of all, thank you. Great to be here. You know, it was like a, a 15 hours a flight from Tel Aviv to Los Angeles. <laughs> so it's really worth the effort. Uh, a bit about Foresight. Uh, Foresight is actually a, a group combined from a few uh, subsidiaries focusing on different uh, solutions and technologies. Why, the first one is Foresight Automotive, aimed for the automotive uh, industry. Uh, the technology is actually 3D perception, perception solutions for semi-autonomous and autonomous uh, vehicles, as well as for uh, other vehicles. Um, the core technology is a, a software, but we are also offering off-the-shelf uh, hardware to the customers. Another company, another subsidiary is uh, iNet, which is a V2X solution. V2X, a cellular V2X. It's vehicle-to-vehicle, -vehicle, vehicle to pedestrian, actually is predicting accidents. Wow. Using the GPS signal, we can know the vector, the progress vector of a pedestrian and a vehicle and predict whether they're going to be an accident or no wow. and alert you in real time. So this is a real saving life. And uh, actually Foresight is all about saving life, whether in the autom autom automotive industry and, and others. Uh, we are also uh, have some holding in rail vision, which is a railway uh, industry, also sensor, security, maintenance, uh, and others. A very interesting technology, uh, cutting-edge technology. Uh, the center of development is in Israel, Tel Aviv. Uh, about almost uh, 75 uh, engineers arriving from a leading uh, academic uh, institute in Israel. So we really believe in our technology and uh, the added value that we can bring to the industry. Great engineers in Israel and a very important technology as the world becomes more autonomous as we uh, integrate more robots and um, automations in our life. Uh, how did you get involved with the company? What's your background? My personal background, actually, I started in operations. Um, I was actually living in the U.S. for a couple of years in Cleveland, Ohio. All right. It's a bit colder than here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, working for a healthcare industry, Philips. And then when I returned back to Israel, I joined uh, Foresight uh, because uh, I believe that uh, the automotive industry is, you know, the next uh, level of uh, high technology and innovation and Foresight brings such uh, innovation to the industry. Uh, as we're moving on, since we are eventually a mature startup company, so, you know, when you are in a startup company, you wear more than one hat. So I started as the VP of Global Operation, but also took responsibility over a business strategy. Oh, wow. That's why I'm here uh, meeting with, uh, you know, uh, investors and others. Uh, because one of our strategies is, uh, of course, uh, targeting uh, the, in the automotive industry here in the U.S., as well as in Europe, Japan. We also established a subsidiary in China. We have now a subsidiary in China, in Shangzhou, near Shanghai. Wow. Because eventually you cannot ignore it. China is the most uh, biggest automotive industry. Shenzhen's uh, the hub. Yeah, and so you can decide to be a player or not. We decide to be a player and they introduce our technology also to the, this market. Wow, that's so exciting. What are some of the core strengths of your company that kind of elevate you above the competition? Well, it's uh, starting with a stereoscopic a stereoscopic uh, technology, actually same as the human being vision. You know, we have two eyes. We see in a three dimension uh, perception. Yep. We can uh, generate uh, and produce depth map. That's what we are doing. We are taking two cameras and we are creating a stereoscopic uh, vision uh, with a very accurate long distance uh, perception uh, map and the depth map, and we are capable to detect any type of object. It can be, you know, a stone, a rock, it can be a bush, it can be a tree, and of course, uh, objects such as pedestrian, cyclist, and other. And eventually that's, you know, uh, we had a conversation with one of the bank investors here, bank, capital banks here, 
And they were saying, you know, eventually uh, the vehicle, autonomous vehicle will have to take a decision. Yeah. But in order to take a de decision, you need to have a very good pair of eyes. Absolutely. We are the very good pair of eyes. Absolutely. How do you plan on replicating? So when we talk about autonomous vehicles, we often say that you can't replace that sort of instinctive human element. How close are we to developing technology that's similar to that human instinct? It's a long road. It's a long road. Uh, yeah, definitely. It's, it, it's still ahead. You know, the, the forecast is talking about 10, 15 years when we will see vehicles, you know, driving on the road, arriving to your house, uh, picking your children, taking them, you know, to the afternoon class and others. But already now there are autonomous vehicles in geofence environment, airports, shuttles, university, seaports, where there is required for autonomous. So it, it's already here. It's not, you know, in mass volume, mm -hmm. but it's starting in small volume uh, because the challenge is huge. You know, take for example a, a future, you know, touch wood accident between two autonomous uh, vehicles. Who is taking responsibility? Whose insurance is paying? A good question. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so you need to have a good technology. Wow. Um, so over the last two years, it's obviously been a rocky road for a lot of companies, a lot of startups. How have you been able to navigate not only you know COVID, but the the current recession here uh, and the inflation? And how have you risen above that? Well. You know, a, to begin with, it was a, it was a challenge for all of us, right? You know, starting to work from home, hybrid, Zoom conference. Uh, but, you know, surprisingly, we established the, the subsidiary in China during the COVID time. And I don't think I've been to China like for four years. Wow. But we are doing business there. So in other words, you can run your business even, uh, you know, from far uh, using a using tools such as Zoom and others. Of course, the, the, hum, the, the touch between, two, you know, the human being touch is, is missing, but eventually, you know, it's all about people, about communication. And as long as you are maintaining a good communication, you can run your business even during, a, unfortunately, times like a, the COVID. Absolutely. And uh, for the investors out there, where can they go if they want to learn more about Foresight? Of course. So first of all, Foresight is a dual traded company both in Tel Aviv Stock Exchange and in the NASDAQ. Our symbol is FRSX. So they can Google and learn more about us. Also, we have a website and of course approach us directly. And are there any announcements or news you'd like to share before you close out? Uh, we actually have a very a good, we already delivered some good news to the market uh, with POC proof of concept, which we have done with uh, companies such as uh, ZF and Itachi very promising. Very cool. So I believe Foresight is the type of a company you can always accept to have good news from. Excellent. Well, we look forward to following the story. Oren, thank you so much for coming here, flying all this way to share your story with all of us. We look forward to following the progress and uh, keeping in touch. It was my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate you.